Hi, I'm Joe. Welcome to my 3D channel. Today, I created this entire animation in under 10 minutes. No, you didn't miss here. I spent just about 2 minutes setting it up, and the rest of the time was just rendering and loading. This is all thanks to a new AI animation tool called Quick Magic, and today I'm going to show you how this pipeline can help anyone, even without mocap suits or fancy rigs, bring their characters to life. Let's dive in. Step 1. Choose your footage. I started by going to YouTube and searching for dancing solo videos. I filtered the results by Creative Commons license to make sure I could use them freely in my project. Once I found a clip I liked, I went to Google, searched for Quick Magic, and logged into my account. Step 2. Upload to Quick Magic. Inside the Quick Magic dashboard, I navigated to the AI mocap tab. Then I simply dragged and dropped the YouTube video into the upload area. Next, I selected the output format. I avoided the CC or iClone option because it still has some calibration issues with iClone. Instead, I chose Mixamo as the output, and boom! Quick Magic automatically generated a fully animated avatar. You can also use the 2D refinement tool to fine tune the bone structure if needed. But honestly, the AI detection was already really accurate, so I just went with the default. Once it's done processing, you can simply download the animation file. Step 3. Import into Character Creator. Now it's time to bring the motion into Character Creator. I used one of my own original characters for this demo. To import the animation, go to File, then Import, click Import External Motion, select the FBX file, leave the settings as default, and that's it. Your character is fully animated. Step 4. Send to iClone for adjustment. I sent the animated character over to iClone to do some quick cleanup. As you can see, there was a little bit of hand penetration in the motion. To fix it, I used the Edit Motion Layer tool to slightly adjust the arm pose. Now the animation looks polished and clean. Step 5. Export to Blender. Next, I wanted to render everything in Blender. Although iClone has a great Blender Pipeline plugin, I went with a manual export for this tutorial. Here's how. Go to File, then Export, then Export FBX, select Blender as the target tool preset, set your frame range, uncheck Embed Textures. Then export the file. Step 6. Import and render in Blender. In Blender 4.4, I use the EV engine for rendering. To import, I use the Reillusion Blender add-in, which auto sets up the rig. Go to Import Character, select the FBX, and everything loads in place. By the way, if you don't know how to install this Blender add-in for free, please find the video link in my description below. Then I set up the camera. Press 0 to switch to camera view. Under view, then click camera to view, and I lock the view for easier framing. In the output properties, I set the frame range from 1 to 1600. Selected PNG as the output format. Define my output path. Then I hit render, click render animation, grabbed a coffee, and waited just a few minutes. And here's the final result. What do you think?
If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more 3D workflow tips. And if you're interested in trying quick magic for yourself, the link is in the description below. Bonus! Cartoon to real life test. Before wrapping up, I wanted to try something fun. I uploaded one of my AI cartoon style animations to Quick Magic. And it worked. The AI accurately detected the motion and turned it into usable 3D animation. Just imagine the possibilities, bringing Dragon Ball, Demon Slayer, or your favorite anime to life with real-time character rigs. Limitations Now, before you jump in and start uploading all kinds of videos, here are a few important limitations I've noticed when using Quick Magic things you should definitely keep in mind. 1. The footage needs to show the full body. Quick Magic works best when the entire body is visible in the frame from start to finish. If the legs or arms go off screen, or the camera zooms in too much, the animation may break or produce strange results. 2. Avoid videos with camera cuts or angle switches. If the original footage suddenly changes camera angles or frames, quick magic can get confused. Try to use clean, continuous shots with minimal movement from the camera itself. 3. Stick to real human motion. Quick magic is trained to track human movement, so it won't work well with animals, stylized characters, or overly exaggerated cartoon poses. If you're trying to animate a dragon or a four-legged mech, this might not be the right tool. At least not yet. 4. Be careful with jumping or fast vertical motion. Sometimes, jumps are interpreted with too much intensity, and your character might end up launching into the air like a superhero. If that happens, you'll need to adjust the motion manually inside iClone or Blender. So, just keep these in mind when selecting your source video. If you follow these tips, your results with Quick Magic will be much cleaner and more usable. Now, here's the animation pipeline I recommend, especially for creators who want to turn real world movement into production ready scenes quickly and efficiently. First, use Quick Magic to extract motion from high quality reference videos like training tutorials, professional performance showcases, or choreography clips. These are usually well lit, clean, and performed by trained artists, which gives you much more reliable tracking. Once you've got the FBX file, import it into iClone for cleanup and adjustment. Here, you can fine tune the motion, fix any joint misalignment, and most importantly, use iClone's powerful camera system to design your scene with full control over framing, timing, and atmosphere. After that, you can export your scene and character to Blender or Unreal Engine for final rendering. This pipeline lets you skip traditional mocap gear entirely and still achieve high-quality animation using existing footage and accessible software tools, fast, flexible, and professional. I hope this tutorial gave you some inspiration or at least saved you time. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more quick magic workflows or how this pipeline could be used in game dev, film, or storytelling. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.